Hi, I'm Marcus Hunt, and uh, we're here at Rogue Fitness. I'm from a tiny country called Estonia. It's uh, located in north, northeast Europe, uh, bordering Russia. And the Reband is made in uh, Estonia, and, and uh, it's manufactured there, and uh, starting to get into the athletic community more now. Really great opportunity to be, to be part of it too now. I grew up in a small town, uh, about 2,500 people tops, and it was just my childhood was all there, and we all, as guys, got together, and you know, we always had time to go and play basketball or play soccer or you know do, do stuff like that and uh, eventually I started doing track and field. Well I got into track and field by just um, being at the right time at the right place. Um, I was just at the stadium uh, one evening and uh, one of the coaches was there so he just kind of grabbed me and was like hey here's a here's a discus come with us and I'll promise you enjoy it. I heard about this coach in Dallas at SMU and uh, he's one of the best track coaches in the world, especially in throwing. Basically took a long shot and uh, flew to Dallas and went to SMU. But football kind of came into the picture because I was always lifting with, I was always lifting at the same time as the football team did. So the coaches were all there and they kind of saw what I was able to do. You know, with track and field, Olympic lifting is a very essential and core thing to do. So uh, I was doing snatches with, um, high 200s, uh, almost 300 pounds, cleans, uh, 300s, kind of 370s, and uh, that really kind of captured their eye, and plus the bench press, and you know, just being 6'8", and being you know, the size that I was, they really kind of wanted to explore it. And they kept kind of pulling me aside, was like, you know, you need to try out football, you need to try out for football. Um, I kind of ignored it in the, in the beginning, but eventually when we didn't have any, anything really left, um, we decided to kind of try out for it because I didn't want to leave Dallas. I didn't want to leave SMU. That was just one of those moments where you just take a leap of faith and see what happens. You know, you have nothing to lose. You know, it worked out for the best. The coaches, coaches decided to give me a full scholarship right off the bat, and, and um, you know, played football ever since. Beginning of my junior year, I decided not to do track anymore and focus solely on football because, you know, I just wanted to see how far I'm able to go with it. For position-wise, they saw me as a defensive end. A defensive end tries to get after the quarterback and create havoc. It's, it's a fun game. I mean, I'm having a, I'm having a great time every time we're out there in practice or in games, and it's, uh, it's just a, a fun physical game for me to be a part in. And while playing college football, obviously, you know, we we had a great coaching staff at SMU, and they they told me that I could have a potential to be part of an NFL team. Before the combine, I was very fortunate enough to go to a, you know, high-level uh, facility to work out uh, down in Florida, and you know they got me really worked up for for the entire event. So, uh, but I ran the 40 and 46. I did the bench press 225, bench press for 36 or 38 reps. The standing uh, long jump was 10 feet or 11 feet. And uh, my vertical was uh, 34 and a half. That's literally like a meat market. You walk in and you know take your measurements. You walk up and down the stage and just with your, you know, tights on. And you know it's 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 just a full evaluation of everything you do. And I was drafted by the Cincinnati Bengals in the second round. Uh, well, this is my third season with the NFL. It's been a very interesting journey because uh, I've learned a lot. I've grown a lot and. It's a totally different feel, and uh, the intensity is a lot higher. And uh, you know, it's just you're surrounded by pros everywhere. For us, up uh, up on the front lines, you just have to big, be big, and kind of just hold your ground. Well, the energy level is just so high. It's it's an amazing place to be, and you know, it's just once game day rolls around, it's it's a totally different atmosphere. And every stadium is packed, and every stadium is loud, and it's it's, it's an amazing kind of feeling. Kind of April comes around, we have to report kind of back for the off-season program with the Bengals. It's it's a competition, which is you know a lot of fun, because when you're in the off-season alone, or you know you you don't really work out with other kind of NFL teammates, you know you don't get into that kind of competitive nature that much. So training with guys and being competitive all the time, it's 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 very helpful. It's you know fun first and foremost, and you just get to go after it and something fun it's kind of something that guys push each other to do better and and you know that eventually makes the entire team better what's in store that's just all I all I need to do is work um, you know then we'll find out what's in store because you know all there all there is for me to do right now you know I'm, I'm made the team to a point where 
I'm on it through the season. Like they say every day, you're one snap away from being a starter. Uh, all I need to do is work hard and be ready for if or when that time ever comes. And, and uh, the coaches then will have the confidence to put me on the field knowing that you know, I know what I'm doing out there and they'll have confidence in, in placing me into the game.